There is a Defender product for almost everything these days. This time I'm going to talk you through Defender for IoT. Now I bet you know what IoT is, right? It's been around as a tech buzzword for years now alongside machine learning and more recently AI. Just so we're clear though, IoT is the network of physical devices, machines, sensors and other things that are connected to the internet. This includes smart home devices like Google Home and Amazon Echo, smart wearables like the Apple Watch and the Fitbit. Now that we're clear on what IoT is, I just mentioned I was going to be talking about Defender for IoT. But that's not where this explanation ends. Defender for IoT protects way more than just smart devices that I mentioned. In fact, Defender for IoT primarily protects the stuff that Defender for Endpoint can't. This technology is often referred to as operational technology, OT. And this is things like manufacturing, power distribution, water treatment, and many more. We're even able to connect this OT to the internet very carefully to make sure that the cloud-powered concepts that we're talking about, like machine learning and big data and anal analytics, can be applied to these devices too. On the other side, businesses these days increasingly rely on smart devices, things like CTTV, door entry systems, and even routers and switches are smart these days. These are referred to as enterprise IoT. So let's recap. Defender for Endpoint protects endpoint devices like workstations and servers. Defender for IoT protects operational technology such as manufacturing and other systems that we rely on day to day. Defender for IoT also protects enterprise IoT devices. When we look at the security portal into devices, Defender for IoT is kind of thrown at you. We have a tab here showing IoT and OT devices, which in my case is empty pretty much all the time. And we have a nice handy button to onboard Defender for IoT. Notice though that this button is all about enterprise IoT. What about that OT stuff that I just talked about? Right, I've been taking myself on a journey over the past nine months to get to the bottom of all of this. What is Defender for IoT? How do we actually deploy it? And what does it all mean? I've learned a lot and even had the opportunity to deploy this in live customer production sites. This is my introduction video because in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be deploying Defender for IoT in OT security and Defender for IoT in EIoT security. If you're watching this and you've had any experience of either or both of these, please reach out to me on LinkedIn and we can make sure these videos are as accurate as possible. All right, let's do this. See you soon.